In this video, I'm going to show you the process of how to log in for the first time to the Virtual Pag-ibig website. I will also demonstrate how to view and track the savings and loan records. If you also want to check your records without going to the Pag-ibig branch, I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to create an account on the Virtual Pag-ibig website. The link to that video guide is in the description. Just to give a brief background, I created my Virtual Pag-ibig account yesterday. After creating, I was informed that I will be notified via text message once my account has been activated. Today, I received that text message. In that message, I was instructed to go to my email address for the secured link I can use to start using the Virtual Pagibig website. This is the content of that email that came from your Virtual Pagibig at pagibig.gov.ph. According to the message, I can now enjoy the premium services on the website such as tracking of my Pag-ibig savings and viewing my loan services. Also, a secured link and a temporary password were included. Click the link to load the virtual Pag-ibig website. At this point, I am going to show you the process for first-time login. Enter the email address and the temporary password. Click the Verify button. After verification, enter the new password. Confirm by typing it again on the next text field. Click Submit. If correct and if the two passwords match, a success message will appear. On the next page, I will be able to enter my email address and new password to log in. This is the home page of the Virtual Pag-ibig website. On the left side, we can see the menu. Let's say I would like to view my regular savings or the mandatory contributions. Simply click it on the menu. Then the information appears on the right side of the page. As we can see, this page shows the following information. My Pagibig MID number, current employer, membership category, initial and last remittance dates, total employee and employer shares, total number of contribution, total dividends, and total savings. To view contributions for a specific year, simply input the year and click the View Contributions button. The records will be retrieved and will be shown on the page. To view another set of records for a specific year, do the same steps. I also have an account for MP2 Savings. Let's view it too. Simply click the MP2 Savings on the menu. On the right side of the page, the account number and balance appear. Select the view link for more details. The information displayed includes initial and last remittance dates, total contribution, total dividends, and total savings. Similar to the regular savings, use the view contribution button below to retrieve records of a specific year. To view your loan records, go to the menu and select the appropriate link. To sign out, click the Log Out option on the menu. For the succeeding access of the account, go to pagibigfund.gov.ph. Choose the Virtual Pagibig tab and select for Members. On the upper right side of the screen, click the Login button. Enter the email address and password to log in. I hope this video will help you to log in, view, and track your Pagibig records. There are other features on the website that are worthy to explore. I will be creating new videos for them soon. In the meantime, please consider subscribing to my channel to be notified once a new video is uploaded. Thank you!